What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel for another installment with the E21 that has been abandoned since 1995. In the last video, we did give the vehicle a good cleaning inside and outside. Outside is more of a wash, I should say, but we did go ahead and detail the interiors. Best really is what the interior is going to get. Um, I will go ahead and clip that in the link above. That way you guys can go watch part one on how nasty this car was. Um, it has came a long way since then. Today, we are going to focus on trying to clean up the paint a little bit. I know there is a lot of rust covering from head to toe. Uh, hood's pretty rusty, but on the areas that are still here, I think we've got a little bit to work with. Um, I did go ahead and get my uh, paint gauge thickness meter, and it has been repainted before at some point in time in a couple areas. It's not like the whole car has been repainted. It's really thick in some areas and kind of thin in some others. So we'll see what we can get done with this. I think we'll at least kind of get some of the stains that are in the paint out of the paint. So that'll be the goal here. I'm gonna give it a quick wipe down. I'm gonna go ahead and clay bar it. And then we'll see kind of what we're working with and what we can get accomplished on this paint. Um, we need to get tires on this car as well. That way we can get the thing pushed around. Tires are date coded 1988. So they're extremely old, brittle, been sitting flat for a long time. Uh, so we need to get tires on this so we can get it rolled around and then we're going to get the car started. You can kind of see some of the area that has been repainted here. It's always the areas that are like flaking off. Underneath is still the factory paint, but on top is like, I, I don't know what was put on top of it. So we've got a lot to work with. I'm not going to get into the rust there. I'm gonna to try to work around as best as possible. I did go ahead and polish this little area here. So that's kind of what we're shooting for. I know it's not perfect. Something's been drugged through the paint here at some point in time. So you can kind of see where it's got some deformities of I don't know what, but that's what we're trying to accomplish here is to get it just a little shinier than what it was. As we do go around the vehicle here though, the roof is not gonna be able to be polished. The roof is too far gone at this point. It's all this like cracked double layer paint on top the whole way across. I'm not that worried about the paint on the top. I think we can uh, at some point in time maybe sand that down. The area that we're really going to be focusing on here is all of these like stained areas. I'm going to try to get that out as best as possible. The door has been repainted, at least this side door has. I don't think any polishing is going to happen from here to here, but at least on the way down, we'll be able to get polished a little bit. I do have kind of high hopes for the back panels here with the rust stains, getting those out. I do have high hopes for the trunk though. I think we've got a lot to work with there. 
So again, the goal is not to make it perfect, just to make it better at this point. I am going to go ahead and get all of the like tags from it being at the auction. Try to get all those off, get the windshield cleaned up a little bit here as well. There's still a lot of etching in, in the glass there, so maybe we'll try to polish that out of it as well. If you can clip some of these areas here, I, I don't know what that is. It's smooth through here, but it's almost like something was etched into the paint and that's not going to be polished out of it. I still think we can get some shine like we did on the other side, but there's not a whole lot to work with there. Uh, it's really tough on this car because there's so much rust of staying away from it with the clay bar just so I'm not picking up those contaminants and then scratching the whole paint obviously it's not that big of a deal on this car because it is pretty rough but still something I'm trying to stay away from Definitely not perfect, still a lot of imperfections in the paint. I don't really want to get too more wild than that. At least we have like a shine on it now compared to that. So a little bit of a difference there. Wasn't really expecting to get a whole lot more than that. So I'm, I'm content with that. So we'll move on, keep on pushing forward. Don't mind the rust spots, of course, but just the difference here is pretty wild. There we go, there's a good angle of it. It's really tough to work around those rust spots, so I'm kind of end up hitting a couple of them, but the pad doesn't seem to be picking up too much loose stuff there, so that's good. That is wild. We got basically this whole side done at this point now. Fenders, door, Joe's ass. Really, it's picked up pretty good. It's actually got a lot of shine to it now that it did not have before. And it worked away a bunch of the rust stains on this side. All right, now don't get me wrong. The paint's not perfect, nor will it ever be. But for what it is, it shined up pretty good and I'm happy with what we've got out of it at this point. It, it was never going to be the best quality. It was about just trying to get it a little shined up from what it was. The paint was pretty dull. There's a bunch of areas that have been repainted and of course those areas there didn't turn out the best. Specifically, if we look at the hood here, you can tell where something's like laid on top of the paint at some point in time. And there's multiple different colors on this. Overall though, I'm happy. We got a shine out of it, which was more than what it had before. It was like a really dull. I did not get at the driver's side door here. That door has been repainted and it's really rough as well as the roof here is really rough. So I did not hit those two panels. We got most of the rust stains out of this, which is way better than I thought it was going to be. I didn't think it was gonna get that good. So I'm, I'm happy and content with that. We've got shine trunk is probably the best panel. I don't think anything sat on the trunk when it sat for those years. If only the hood was that way, then I think the hood and the roof both could have looked like this, which would have been a huge improvement. It's got the tires on it now, so now it's movable. We have a bunch of other parts coming in, so I'm ready to see these parts come in. 
That way we can get to installing those and then kind of change up the look of this car at this point. Mitch is out having fun right now, so I get to film the intro. I don't know what I'm doing. On this car today, <laughs> we're going to try to rip out the interior we just cleaned so I can start fixing the floorboards and the rockers and the subframe mounts. Pretty much everything. The car is very rusty. We like rust. <laughs> Well, as you can see, before I even started trying to put headliner down, it's already starting to tear and shrink. I figured it wouldn't be savable, but it's already deteriorating. And there is a mouse nest up there, it seems like, because um, as I'm working around it, uh, a whole bunch of junk and probably mouse shit's falling on me. So we're just gonna have to rip this thing down. It's uh, two days later now. Yesterday, after pulling the headliner out, I got really sick and I was projectile vomiting. So, wear uh, respirators and um, protective gear when dealing with mouse droppings. But before I left, I pulled the sunroof out and I got the rest of the headliner out. So now we have better lighting. So I can finish pulling out the rest of this carpet. And then you guys can see what's left of the floor, which isn't very much, but it's fine. It can be replaced, I think. So. Here goes nothing. Well, it's pretty holy. Here we are on the driver's side. That's just a plug I took out. Because I was just putting stuff through the floor to use as a trash can now because it's easier to sweep off the floor. That inner rocker structure is starting to get a little bit, but it's not horrible yet. This roof stuff mounts rusty, but it's not rusted through yet, so. We'll address that if it ever comes to it. Driver's floor is gone. Rocker isn't horrible. Isn't good. The driver's floor actually started to rust up onto the firewall a little bit. Not horrible. Not good. All fixable with time and money. Which honestly, if I cared, it would be much better to just go buy a better car. But this is fun. I enjoy it. As you can see, it is very holy. But we knew that going into it. We just can see it all better now. Floorboards aren't that big of a deal. The biggest problem is back here. That's the main subframe mount. And then on that intersection of rockers is going to be kind of hard to get to to fix. And then the wheel well is part of the strut bracing. So that needs to be repaired. Like I said, it was going to be like a, a ratty, like, 
track missile, drift missile type car. It was never going to be a show queen. So I think we're happy with where it's at right now. Um, so next steps, parts coming in, going to get it running. So we'll keep you guys updated with those videos. Again, if you have not checked out video one to see how bad this car was off the get-go, go check that out. I'll link it up here again one more time. We do have a lot of components coming from ECS tuning. We've got brake caliper rebuild kits. That way we can get these torn apart. The brakes are pretty locked up on it. We've got a clutch master cylinder coming. We've got a brake master cylinder coming. All new brake lines and hoses. We've got strut tower bracing and plenty more to go. And then if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment below. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Turn on that bell notification. That way you can get notified as soon as these videos do upload. There's going to be a lot coming this way. And then uh, be sure to like and comment on the video. Appreciate you guys and we will see you on the next video. Peace. Anxiety, filling up every space, no privacy. Uh, and silently, it could build and build until you finally see. Whoa, it's taking over, damn, no closure, moving.